to Leonard, defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? Yes. Today, we will give you the 10 best buzzer beaters in NBA history. But before we present them to you one by one, don't forget to like and subscribe to Sports Stars and click the bell to watch your latest videos. Number 10. Damian Lillard The Rockets took on the Trailblazers in the playoffs in 2014. Houston trailed the series 3 against 2, but led the game 6 by the score of 98 against 96 with just 0.9 seconds remaining from forcing a game 7. Damian Lillard got the ball in almost the same spot on the court as Roy a few years prior, racing and knocking down the game-winning three. Three wins the series. It's Lillard. He got the shot off. Lillard got it! The Blazers won the series and made their first trip to the second round of the playoffs since 1999 to 2000. Number 9. Tony Kukot. With Scottie Pippen sitting on the bench in one of the ugliest and selfish moments of his career, the Chicago Bulls needed a hero to rescue them in Game 3 of the 1994 Eastern Conference Semifinals. The New York Knicks just tied the game on a shot by Patrick Ewing, and the Bulls had the ball with 1.8 seconds remaining. Head coach Phil Jackson designed a play for rookie sensation Tony Kokotes, prompting Pippen to take a seat on the bench in anger. It was a total shame for Pippen when Kokotes was knocking down the game-winning shot at the buzzer. Now keep an eye right in the All was forgiven when Bulls won three more championships later in the decade. Number 8. Reggie Miller In a classic encounter between Michael Jordan of the Bulls and Reggie Miller of the Indiana Pacers, Chicago entered the final seconds leading by just one point in Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals in 1998. The Bulls were trying to hang on and take a 3 against 1 series lead, while the Pacers were trying to tie it up and return to Chicago on the inbounds. Harper's on Miller. McKee gets it in the middle for the win! It's the Miller showed Jordan out of the way, grabbed the ball, and hit a three to take a two-point lead with 0.7 seconds remaining. Jordan got the ball and got off a double-clutch three-pointer with the potential to win it. But the ball spun out of the basket for a Pacers victory. Number 7. Michael Jordan the Utah Jazz met up with the Bulls in the 1997 NBA Finals. With Utah looking for their first ever NBA championship, Chicago was trying to collect their fifth in the last seven years. Game 1 was tied at 82 with 7.9 seconds remaining. After Jazz forward Carl Malone had missed two free throws that could have put Utah ahead. The Bulls got the ball into Michael Jordan's hands and he did what Michael Jordan does. He drilled the game winner at the buzzer, taking a one against zero series lead. Number six, Michael Jordan. Another Michael Jordan classic comes from the 1989 playoffs against the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Bulls traded the Cavaliers 100 against 99 with only seconds remaining in the deciding fifth game on the first round. Jordan received the inbounds pass and drove to the free throw line with Cavs guard Craig Ello following him. Jordan rose over Ello, hitting the jumper as the buzzer sounded and gave the Bulls 101 against 100 victory. Zellers has Jordan. Jordan with two seconds to go, puts it up and scores at the buzzer! Michael Jordan has Chicago did not win a championship that year, but bonus points for knocking out a higher-seeded opponent. And this is just half of it. Stay tuned. We will reveal the rest of them all to you. Number 5. Robert Horry They don't call him Big Shot Bob for nothing. The Lakers trailed the Sacramento Kings in Game 4 of the 2002 Western Conference Finals, 99 against 97 when Kobe Bryant drove into the lane to try to tie things up. A putback attempt by Shaquille O'Neal didn't go either, and the ball got batted out to Robert Horry at the three-point line. Horry got the ball out of his hands in time, with the ball swishing through the net as the horn sounded. Rebound, 
The Lakers stole a 100 against 99 victory and went on to win the series in seven games. Number 4. John Stockton In Game 6 of the 1997 Western Conference Finals, the Houston Rockets were trying to push the Utah Jazz to overtime and keep their season alive. The game was tied at 100 with 2.6 seconds remaining and the Jazz had the ball, looking to hit a shot to send them to the NBA Finals. The pass went to legendary point guard John Stockton, who for some reason was left all alone. Inbound at half court. Uh -oh. Stockton, open three, hit it! He dribbled to the three-point line and put one up, knocking in the game winner to eliminate the Rockets. 103 against 100. Number 3. Derek Fisher In the 2004 Western Conference Semifinals, the Los Angeles Lakers and San Antonio Spurs had a classic Game 5 duel. With 5.4 seconds left and the Spurs down one, Tim Duncan hit a flailing, falling fadeaway jumper that put San Antonio up, 73 against 72, with 0.4 seconds remaining in the game, with Gary Payton, Shaquille O'Neal, Carl Malone, and Kobe Bryant on the roster, the Lakers went to point guard Derek Fisher, who hit the quick fallaway jumper to win the game and stun the Spurs. Here they go. They get it to Fisher. He scores! Oh, Derek Fisher goal. scores! Number 2. LeBron James The Orlando Magic went to Cleveland and took Game 1 of the 2009 Eastern Conference Finals, making the second game incredibly important to the Cavs' title hopes. But after a shot by Hido Turkoglu that left the Cavs trailing 95 against 93 with just one second remaining, things did not look good in Cleveland. The ball was passed to LeBron James, with Turkoglu all over him, and he moved back and hit the fading three-pointer to win the game. That was as remarkable as it got for Cleveland, who finally lost the series to Orlando. Rashard Lewis playing off the ball. Lewis gets it to LeBron for three for the win. Yes! LeBron James! And now, our top best buzzer beater. Number one, Tracy McGrady. Tracking 76 against 68 with less than a minute to go. Tracy McGrady of the Houston Rockets drained what looked like it might be an insignificant three-pointer. That put the score at 76 against 71 in favor of the San Antonio Spurs, with just 35 seconds left in the game. But then, McGrady hit a three with a foul for a four-point play with 24.3 seconds left and then another three with 11.2 seconds left. With the Spurs sticking to just a two-point lead, they turned it over under their basket and gave the ball back to McGrady. The Rockets forward dribbled the ball down the court, rose at the three-point line, and beat down the game winner with 1.7 seconds remaining. Lost it. Here comes McGrady. No timeouts remaining. McGrady for the win. Yeah! Tracy McGrady scored 13 points in the final minute to steal a game away from the Spurs, 81 against 80. Do you agree with our top 10 or did we miss anything? Don't hesitate to leave your comments below. Show us some love if you like the video by clicking and subscribing to Sports Stars and click the bell for our newest videos. Thanks for watching.